Gusto mo bang maging part owner or shareholder ng mga naglalaki ang companies katulad nito? So in this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano nga ba mag-invest sa stock market. But for this tutorial, magpo-focus tayo sa step 1 on how to apply for a particular broker account platform. At ito ang COL Financial. At kung interesado kang malaman, tumuto ka lang sa video na to. There are several broker account platforms na pwede tating pagpilian to start investing in stock market, katulad ng mga to. But for this video, magpo-focus tayo sa COL Financial. COL Financial provides the best online platform delivering essential research and analysis as well as direct access to market data and statistics to keep you ahead in your investments. COL Financial is owned by Edward K. Lee. So ang kagandahan ngayon, when opening an account sa COL Financial, pwede na siyang online at hindi mo na kailangan isubmit pa yung mga requirements sa office nila, hindi katulad nung dati. And for as low as 5,000 pesos, you can now start trading and investing sa stock market. So ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung step-by-step -step process on how to open or apply for an account sa COL Financial. So without further ado, let's start. So first, punta lang tayo sa web browser natin. Then punta lang tayo sa website ni COL Financial. So dito sa right side, makikita lang natin tong Makikita natin tong open an account. Click lang natin siya. Then dito ipapakita ni COL Financial yung overview, yung step-by-step -step process on how to open an account. Click lang natin tong sign up. So dito ipapakita niya yung mga requirements na kailangan nating i-prepare bago tayo mag-proceed on applying our account sa COL Financial. So first, kailangan natin ng one valid government ID. Second, yung blank sheet for our signature. Then prepare na rin natin yung bank details natin. And if and if employed ka, kailangan mo ng SSS, GSIS, CRN and PIN number mo. And then, birth certificate for minors if you are planning to open an account for your children. Then, click Get Started. So, ito naman yung Online Securities Trading Agreement. So, medyo mahaba-haba to. So, if, if interested kang basahin, And after mo basahin, click mo lang yung agree. Tapos dito naman, provide mo lang yung mga personal details mo, like your name, your email address, and then your phone number. Then click mo lang, I'm not a robot, and click next. Next naman, kailangan nilang ma-verify lang yung email address mo. So may sasend sila sa email address mo. Check mo lang yun. And then, click mo lang verify email. And then, next, i-verify naman nila yung phone number mo. May sasend sila through text. So, kunin mo lang yung code. So, after ma-verify yung email address mo tsaka phone number, click mo lang next. Select mo your account type. So, may tatlong account type. Yung individual, joint, and ITF. So, si ITF is an investment account opened by the parent intended for his or her child below 18 years old. So, if you are planning to open account for your children, so ITF yung pipiliin mo. But in my case, select lang natin yung individual. Then, click next. Dito naman yung other personal details mo like your civil status, your gender, your birth date, so Philippines, country of citizenship, syempre Philippines din, 
then country of residence Philippines din. Then click next. So dito naman yung contact information mo. So lagay mo lang yung present address mo. And then your permanent address. So kung same lang naman yung present and permanent address mo, take mo lang tong same as present address. But in my case, magkaiba yung address ko, yung present and permanent address ko. So fill out lang natin parehas. Then click next. So dito naman, tag mo lang yung employment status mo. If employed ka, unemployed, retired, Then click next. So these are additional information lang. So answer mo lang yung mga question na tinatanong niya. First, yung are you a corporate officer or director of PSE listed company? So no. Are you a director officer or employee of another broker or dealer? No. Are you a shareholder of another broker or dealer? No. Have you or your immediate family at any time been employed by a government entity? No. How did you find out about COL Financial? So in my case, lagay lang natin social media. Have you been to any event or seminar where COL participated? No. So dito, check lang na kung you are a US citizen. A green card holder or a US resident. So, no lang. Then, click next. Ito naman yung financial profile natin. So, tatanong lang niya kung magkano yung asset worth natin. Yung net worth. And annual income natin. Then your source of funds. Ito naman yung client suitability assessment or CSA. We assess lang nila yung risk profile mo and your investment knowledge. So wala namang tama o maling sagot dito. Then click mo lang next. So ito naman yung withdrawal information natin or your bank details natin. So pang mag-withdraw tayo, either we could choose na i-transfer to sa bank account natin or or pwede rin naman nating i-pick up yung check dun sa office ni COL which is in passing. Pero kung ayaw mo namang ma-hassle, uh, transfer lang natin sa bank account natin. Then, provide lang natin yung bank details natin. Like your bank name, bank branch, and bank account number. So, dito naman, magta-take tayo ng photo yung mga requirements natin, like your ID and signature. Tapos, dito natin gagamitin yung bank sh blank sheet of paper natin. So, like this one. So, kailangan lang tayo mag-sign ng 3 times yung sa paper natin kasama yung ID natin, yung government ID na. Either take tayo ng photo or upload tayo ng file kung may na capture na tayong image before. Then also, yung back portion ng ID, huwag natin kakalimutan. Take din tayo ng photo of yourself together with your ID katulad nito. Then, if sure ka na dun sa mga details na finil out mo, you can just click submit or you can click back if you want to review your details. But in my case, click ko na yung submit. So, congratulations, you've accomplished your COL account opening form. So, your application will be under for review and once approved by COL, 
they will send you your 8-digit COL reference number and funding instructions to your registered email. So, once your application's been approved, so you may start funding your account. So, there are four ways to fund your COL account. First is online bills payment using your bank details or your bank account. And then, option number two is over-the-counter bills payment. Third is the COL Business Center. And fourth is the Overseas Remittance, if OFW ka. Once you have enough funds sa account mo, you can now start investing and buying your first stock sa COL Financial. And related sa video na to, gagawa rin ako niyang tutorial video on how to buy and sell stocks sa COL Financial online. Kaya don't forget to like this video at hit mo na rin yung subscribe channel at notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos ko. Thank you for watching. God bless and have a nice day.